Good morning everybody, it's Ollie Richards here and these are the rules of language learning. Now, back in the fifth rule of language learning, we had a very pithy rule that was summed up like this. Review, review, review. Genius, I thought. Another bulletproof rule of language learning delivered in three simple words. Good job, Ollie. Also, I thought, for all of about five minutes until I checked Twitter and saw myself being firmly put in my place by a certain Stephen Krashen. Review, review, review? What about read, read, read? He said. I started to panic. Beads of sweat started to run down my face. My heart started racing. Had I just got it epically wrong? It's not review, 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 Ollie, you muppet. It's read, read, read. That is how you learn a language. Now, when Stephen Krashen speaks, you pay attention. After all, he's done as much for language learning and teaching in the last 30 years than anyone else alive. He's good fun over a beer and gave a particularly good interview for this very channel not so long ago. So, which is it? Review, review, review? Or read, read, read? Who wins the battle of ideas when it comes to learning foreign languages? Well, I'll give you the answer in a minute, but only if you subscribe to this channel. That is the price you pay for answers around here. It's a subscribe. We're going to get to a, th uh, what is it? A hundred thousand subscribers by the end of the year. And I need your help because let's face it, we are quite a way off right now. So hit that subscribe button. In all seriousness, I see what's going on here. There is a very simple concept behind the idea, review, 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 which is this. We very rarely learn things first time. The first time you see a new word or a new grammar construction, the normal thing to happen is that you completely forget it within five minutes. That's totally normal, totally fine, and part of the learning experience. You can see this pattern of forgetting visually in what's called the forgetting curve, which basically shows that the more times you review something, the longer you remember it. And so the fundamental principle here is that you need to get plenty of review of the stuff that you're learning in order to remember it. Simple, right? Straightforward. Just the way we like it. So now, if the higher order principle is that you need to get lots of review, then the next question is, how do you get that review? And this is where Krashen and I start to converge. Because when I say the word review, you might have a certain image come to mind. You might have an image of sitting down with a notebook or flashcards, looking back over your notes from class, reviewing your notes if you'd like. And that is one way to do it. But there's another way to get regular review. Another less obvious way to review stuff. Drum roll please. Reading. That is right. Reading is also a source of review. Let me explain why. I remember the very first book I ever read in Spanish. It was called Crónica de una muerte anunciada or Chronicle of a Death Foretold by Garcia Marquez. It's a fantastic book but you see I read this book on top of a mountain in Argentina back in 2005. 2005, ladies and gentlemen, back when smartphones did not exist. And even if they had existed, I certainly wouldn't have had data on top of that mountain because it was really, really quite high. So I couldn't Google any words. I didn't, ha I didn't even have an old fashioned paper dictionary. All I had was that book and I read it from cover to cover. Now, right at the beginning of that book, they started talking about a thing called an obispo. Obispo in Spanish. I had no idea what that meant, uh, but I kept reading anyway. And as I carried on through the story, I still didn't know exactly what obispo meant, but I did figure out from context that he was an important figure that everybody revered and he had something to do with the church. So that was enough for me to basically know what it meant, enough for it to make sense in the story anyway. Now this word came up over and over again because this obispo was central to the story. The word would crop up on every page, like sometimes multiple times. And because of that repetition, by the end of the word, and by the end of the book, that word obispo was firmly embedded in my memory and has been for the last 15 years. And in case you're wondering, obispo means bishop. So built into the act of reading is review. Review, review, review. You see something new, you, you, you see it again, and you see it again, over and over and over. As you read, you're learning new things and then reviewing them. The most important stuff crops up a lot and so you review it more. And guess what? If you keep it up, you end up knowing that stuff really rather well. Now, Krashen himself has called learning vocabulary in this way, distributed exposure to vocabulary. 
which sounds altogether more convincing than my explanations, but I'll stick with the basic concept of review right here because that's exactly what it is. So, ladies and gentlemen, when Stephen Krashen tells you to read, 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 he's absolutely right and you should do exactly what he says. Now, you might be wondering, what is this crazy read, read, read method? Where can I find the instructions and follow this method myself? How is it done? Well, I'll let you into a little secret. This read, read, read method is also the easiest language learning method in the world. Krashen, who has a knack for giving this stuff fancy names, suggests free voluntary reading. Free voluntary reading. So it's reading that's not dictated by a course or a teacher, but rather reading that you do out of choice in free and unstructured time. Now here's some of the free voluntary reading that I've done myself over the last few months. The screenplay in Japanese of Die Hard 4, obviously. A hundred sonnets by Shakespeare in uh, Chinese, which was pretty hard. And uh, short stories in Spanish by Ollie Richards. And in case you're wondering why I read my own book, well, I didn't, I'm just, uh, just trying to promote it. <laughs> You'll forgive me, I know. So, let's make this simple. You find a book you like, you make sure it's not too hard, like those Shakespeare sonnets, you read it, you enjoy it, and then you do it all over again with a new book. You learn a ton of stuff, and you have a great time in the process. So what I want you to do right now is to leave a comment beneath this video, and I want you to tell me the last thing you read in your target language. Don't be shy, go right ahead. What was the last free voluntary reading that you did. And if you haven't read a book in your target language, tell me a book you'd like to read and then go and read it. Sound like a plan? So thank you for watching and remember, do yourself a favor and read, read, read. Thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did enjoy it and you'd like me to continue this series of the rules of language learning, then you can let me know by liking this video. Also, if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos every week, then you can subscribe to the channel using the big red button below and the videos will pop right up in your news feed.